what was going on, so they thoughtlessly called the authorities, and the authorities were looking for somebody to kick to set an example of how horrible it was to violate terms of service. And they had this law, the CFAA, that they could stretch in that way. And so the, the prosecutors picked on Swartz. And the people at MIT, they didn't realize that that was going to happen. They didn't even know that it was Aaron Swartz at the time when they brought the authorities into it. And the lesson that people at MIT are learning is you better not bring the authorities into it uh, until you know what's going on and you can decide whether it warrants that response. That's right. You call the FBI in or the government in, you better have a really good reason because they will destroy people. Look, he was getting married. He said he was going to beat it in court. I know they said they drove him to suicide, but I think they realized they were making him a cause celeb, and I think they killed him physically. It's I doubt it. And the reason is just that, according to people close to him, he'd had a tendency to depression. And that so he'd thought about suicide before. Uh, it's plausible that he would have killed himself, even if the day before sure. he wasn't feeling so down. Like, I don't know. I didn't know. Well, you know, his father story. said the FBI, the, the Justice Department, killed my son. But, 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 but he said drove him to kill right. himself. So regardless, they killed him. Yeah, I mean, they were responsible for his death, but that's not to say that they uh, directly killed him. Sure. I wonder what it feels like for some, for a you know top and internet... It wasn't so much the FBI, as far as I know. It was the prosecutors. Sure, sure, the prosecutors, to be technical, you're right. The FBI did, 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 administered the case, well, ran the case, but then the prosecutors administered it. It's just a total tragedy that clearly this was an attempt at a chilling effect... Uh, but I don't think it worked. And, you know, I think the answer is what you've said. Get outside the system, build new systems, try to promote the free software movement that you started. But also, for whistleblowers, it's the same thing. Stop complying. More whistleblowers. Overwhelm the system. Don't comply with anything, and that will bring it down. Oh, but, no, we have to do more than that. We ha there are many systems that we use that don't belong to us. For instance, we're, ba we're talking by a telephone call. The phone companies collect the information of who you talk with, and they make that data available to the government. We can't prevent that by developing our own parallel systems. ISPs, if you have an ISP account, the ISP records all the connections that you make and makes that data available to the government. So we it's almost impossible for us to avoid the government's knowing who we're talking to. And that's the crucial data. Remember, to find the whistleblower, the government needs to know who talked with a journalist. Even if they don't have any records of the discussions, just identifying who talked with a journalist is enough to find the whistleblower, and then they can, of course, get that person's computers, study everything, and so on. The point is <clears throat> that we need to insist that these systems, which we don't own, be redesigned so that they do not keep dossiers about all and sundry. That requires legislation. We have to organize politically to demand that phone companies and ISPs not keep these long-term dossiers about us. Exactly, so as a culture. That the government can get about the past of a person who was not a suspect. And that's why they always wanted to deny all this was going on, because they didn't want to have the debate, because exactly. they know morally they can't win the debate. So all we have to do is, like the organic food movement, vote with our dollars, vote with our actions, and we can reverse this surveillance uh, state? No, it's not enough to vote with our actions, because we don't have an alternative. There's nothing comparable to organic food for talking by phone. There's just no communications system available to us. Uh, which we could use, and meeting in person may not do it because of license plate trackers that uh, have been set up by the 
uh, well, by the cops in lots of cities, and also by uh, repo men. Uh, and the point is, we need legislation to restrict the license plate recognizers, so that if your car is, if your license plate is valid, and there is no surveillance order out on you and on your car in particular, no then the license plate recorder shouldn't see your car. It shouldn't notice your car. It should only notice the license plates that are not valid or the people for which Exactly. You're then omitted. Warrant, arrest warrant. Which, by the way, as you know, over a million people in California that work for the government, they are omitted because they work for the government. Their license plates aren't seen. I didn't know that, but that's interesting. So basically that means the only people who... Well, actually, that's interesting because if they work for the government, that means they won't be seen, which means that they can blow the whistle. Maybe. If they're not caught some other way. So I suppose in some ways that's good. But the point is we all shouldn't be seen. Exactly. Stay there, doctor. Stay there. Final segment. Who has the perfect piece of gear for your bushcraft pack or bug out bag? Canteenshop.com. Want to be able to start a fire in any weather? Canteenshop.com. Need a well-built handcrafted knife that'll be passed down for generations? Get to Canteenshop.com for the best selection of high-quality hand-picked gear from over 20 small U.S. businesses and big-name brands to bring you the best that the bushcraft survival world has to offer. Canteenshop.com. What's missing? What's missing from your kit? Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. You know, I do it a lot. I hogged all the time with Dr. Stallman. We're not going to take any calls. He's leaving us in about six minutes, and then I'm going to get into the Malaysia flight. Big info on that front. Uh, a bunch of other political news. There is just so much of it. The big scandal, obviously, now is that the Senate is being spied on by the CIA with the NSA systems and that they broke into their computers. This is just lawlessness, and it's a Pandora's box. No matter how powerful these technologies are, humans are always going to end up using them for their own petty reasons, and it will be abused. There's a reason we know that East Germany was an authoritarian hellhole. There's a reason we know North Korea is an authoritarian hellhole. 
There's a reason we know Nazi Germany was an authoritarian hellhole and Soviet Russia was an authoritarian nightmare. We know what the forms of abuse look like, the forms of oppression. And surveillance illegally without warrants is the essence of it. It's the blood of it, the ether, the oxygen. On every front, we're going into authoritarianism. Now, there's a lot of countervailing and, and, and counter movements, as Einstein said, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. And Dr. Stallman is a manifestation of that since the 80s when he left MIT to pioneer so much of what is the only alternatives today. And it's a testament to the power of the individual. And we need more people uh, who are brains to not serve DARPA in the New World Order and to serve humanity. And it's much more fulfilling. I, I'm here to tell you, I'm an open source guy off the plantation who just wants to be free. That's what makes me happy. I'm not perfect. I'm not on a high horse. Uh, but I, m my gut is in the right place. My heart's in the right place. In closing, Dr. Stallman, uh, you know, GNU that you invented that grew into Linux, all these other systems. Well, actually, no. It's pronounced GNU. GNU, I know. It didn't grow it wrong. into Linux. Linux is one component that's used with the GNU system. So the right name for it is GNU plus Linux. Sure. I, I mean, that's I'm an internet dummy. We're using. And uh, if you call it GNU plus Linux, you're helping us. Another way to help us is don't say open source, say free software. Open source is the slogan used for co-opting our work and hushing up the ethical aspects of it. In 1998, there were people in the free software community who really contributed, but they disagreed with our ethical, political approach to the question. And they wanted it to be forgotten. They wanted to talk about the same software, but hush up the political side of it. And so they invented the term open source. Well, your politics are up to you. You can say whichever you like, but you can, if you say free software, you're helping us. For more information about this, look at gnu.org slash philosophy. And if you want to help our cause, look at gnu.org slash help. Well, it's very exciting, and what you've done with GNU that I mispronounce GNU, I mispronounce everything. It's, it's just it's part of what I do. Uh, I just know from all my tech people and the stuff I read in the tech publications that it's it's so important and one of the only uh, you know, things that is somewhat free of of all this control. Um, in closing, what concerns you most, briefly, and then what what makes you most optimistic? Well, what concerns me is the tendency to make technology more and more malicious. It's a mistake to equate malware with viruses because lots of products are designed to be malware. For instance, the the eye things from Apple and Windows phones and tablets, they are, they've taken the malware to the point where they are designed as platforms for censorship, censorship of apps on an iThing. It can only install the apps that Apple approves of and has put in the App Store. The only way to avoid that, to get an escape from that, is with jailbreaking. Now, that term, which was coined by the users themselves, is very interesting. It's a recognition that those products are jails. And now the Microsoft things are the same. Uh, so this ought to be illegal. I'll tell you what, Doc, is this is a one-minute break. Come back and do five more with us so you can finish up uh, the jailbreaking and then talk about the, the, the positive stuff that's happening just briefly. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. 
Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.